show you guys some of my current beauty favorites. Some of these you'll see here for the first time and that's okay because I did um, a makeup look prior to this one. This is like look number two. And I actually put them in action like the liner and that stuff so you guys can actually see how it works and you'll see like how I talk about this product. So let's dive on into my current favorites. The very first thing I want to talk about is this product over here. I've shown it so many times already and I'm doing weekly updates. This is the GC Love Hair AF Homeopathic Formula for Hair Loss by Gerard Cosmetics. Now, they are like a separate entity, so if you want to follow them over on Instagram, make sure you do because they have a very separate Instagram account. Um, but you can get this over at GerardCosmetics.com. I've been showing you guys weekly updates. I'm very confident and comfortable now with like pulling my hair back and stuff because it does work, okay? I've been using this for a good month and a week and then a few days on top of that. And I've noticed such a difference is amazing. Another thing that I'm obsessed with is this niacinamide dewdrops by Glow recipe. The only reason why I'm bringing this up is because I use this for my makeup prep. I wash my face, I do my toner, I do the most, and then I go in with this. I recently remembered I had this one, and I was like, you know what? I should try her. And I love hyaluronic acid as well. I'm just glad that I did because this does almost the same thing except I don't feel like I get the luminosity from the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum by Glow Recipe. It gives you that flawless base. It, it helps with like your texture. So it does the same thing as this one does and it pre creates like this beautiful canvas for your makeup to go on top of. The difference is I don't get that extra glow from this one, so if you don't want the glow, this would be an amazing skin prep for you. I wanna remind you guys, this here is probably one of the most amazing skincare items I own, and I have the one by Naturium, okay? So I have that one, that one's amazing too. I fluctuate between that one and this one. This one's a brand new one. The one that's already open is in my bathroom with the Naturium one, and like I said, I fluctuate back and forth, but this is amazing on my skin, and I can use this one or the other one on a daily basis. I have zero issues with my skin, zero reactions or anything like that. It has helped my skin so much. I appreciate all the feedback. Y'all are so nice to me talking about some I have like amazing skin, thank you. But it is probably one of the biggest jobs for me in terms of like taking care of me because I'm not like one of those people that gets excited over like, let me take a good 20 minutes to do my skincare. But I do it because the proof is in the pudding and it works wonders. So if you haven't tried this, I know it's been featured in beauty boxes in the past. If you haven't tried this and you can snag one, you totally should. These two items are relatively new. I feel like they came out about a month ago or some change. This is the Kiss Lash Couture line, okay? I have four brand new styles that launched. I featured like the entire PR kit in a video recently, but this is their Lash Couture Extra Strength Formula in Black. I got the white one too when the white dries, it dries clear. This one really is extra strength. You do have to give it an extra few seconds. I would say like, girl, wait about a minute before you try to like pop your lash on. This lash glue has withstood my toddler pulling on my lash. And I was like, oh, what are you doing? I was able to get away from her. Um, most lash glues would not do that. So I really like that this is an extra strength formula and I've been using this one a lot behind the scenes. And then out of all the lash styles, this is the one that I've been reusing and y'all know I lose my lashes big time all the time. But I've made it a point to make sure I put her back in her little like, you know, like little tray because this lash style is so pretty. Same thing, it is the Lash Couture Masterpiece uh, line. This style is Pret-a-Porter and oh my God, you're wrong. This heated lash curler was like 13 bucks over on Amazon. I have a video on it. I'm not gonna keep talking about it because I feel like it's what I've been talking about the most in the past few videos, but I'm gonna tell you, girl, I haven't used the other lash curler since I tried this one because it's so good, okay? It's heated and it does help you hold a curl for much longer, which is very different for me, so this product here makes me really excited. I wanna talk to you guys about bronzers. So this Persona 
uh, Cosmetics Bronzer. It is a multi-stick. This one is in Sahara. She's creamy, she's dark, she's blendable, she's beautiful. It does give me like that sun-kissed kind of effect. Love her. Then Mary Beauty sent over, it is their, what are you, I wanna use the right term for it, the Perfecting Complexion Stick. This stick you can use all over the face. You can conceal with it, you can spot conceal, you can apply all over the face and blend it out and then you have like a sheer wash of like a foundation um, or what looks like a foundation but you could also depending on the shade you get bronze you can contour I'm telling you girl I have featured the lighter shade so many times on my channel I'm obsessed with the formula the finish it is beautiful it is blendable it is creamy it is clean beauty by the way this one is in sepia and this is literally what I have on my skin I did not have to powder this I did not have to set it I mean it's literally the only thing that I have on my forehead right now except like these little shimmers are from the eyes so it's very forgiving if you go in and you're like oh my god that seems really Really, really dark it's usually not like I'll do two lines blend that out and oftentimes I want to go in a second time just to kind of deepen it depending on the look that I'm going for really love it. if you haven't tried Mary Beauty you totally should I have um, what else one more of the products I want to show you that's beautiful and will work for dark skin tones let's move on to the very last kind of bronzing stick situation I got this nude sticks nudies matte it is an all-over face bronze color here's the thing I got mine in Sunkissed. I got this in an AIA beauty bundle I loved that bundle this I cannot use particularly for a uh, like bronzing sculpting bronzing nothing it is a little too on the red side for me of course it is a multi-use stick as well so you don't necessarily have to use this for the perimeters of your face you can totally go in and just use it as a blush you can use it on your eyes or you can use it on your lips to add that extra flush almost like the blushed kiss effect on the lips I tried it as a contour or a bronzer and in that try on video it was cute but I really had to like work on it because it was too pink but I like that this is the shade that they included because whether you're extremely fair or extremely deep you will find use for this particular shade let me get into brow products. I have these two right here. These make me really excited. This is the Bravo Conditioning Primer by Benefit Cosmetics. It literally has like a fake little plasticky comb situation. It is a clear product. You can apply this prior to applying your actual brow pencil, powder, uh, gel, whatever it is that you're gonna apply on your brows or you can just apply this on its own. It's supposed to condition and help your brows look fuller and thicker. The thing about it is, it's kind of like a brow gel that like it's an all-in-one and I really liked it because I was able to sculpt my brows, dum, 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 and they stayed in place and didn't move. And then the Brow Trio sent over their brow lifting wax. I've been using this for over a month. Oh, it has a little comb, right? <laughs> the packaging, I think this is the weird part because like if I don't want to take the comb out, it's, it's hard because it will come out. But it is like this white type of waxy kind of gel and then you just kind of brush it through your brows. I would not apply this on top of product um, either because you don't want to change the formula or like the actual spoolie will get dirty and just mumble jumble in there. But this is amazing if you want to sculpt your brows on like a no makeup day. It lays your brows nice and flat and what I like about this spoolie it's stiff it's not one of these spoolies that kind of like the little fiber hair things are like loose and like flary like this is definitely going to sculpt your brow and hold it in place I absolutely loved it and then once you do that you can just go in and kind of like press or comb it even more and then shape really liked this I don't know how much it goes for but it's really good concealers I have two benefit concealers it is a coincidence that I have two concealers by benefit cosmetics in my basket I found that whenever I was going to Miami this is what I was packing this is just such a beautiful full coverage concealer you can go really lightweight or you can just really go in it like I've skipped color correcting under the eyes the formula is beautiful this is their Boeing industrial strength concealer mine is in number two they have so many shades available but I went with number two because you guys know that I like that brightening under the eye there's been times that I didn't even set it because I forgot to like pack a powder and this stayed put like I didn't need to set it of course it depends on how much you're applying under the eyes but this was so good I didn't even have to set it and it doesn't move it doesn't settle into my fine lines I was able to use it with a sponge or with my finger it's beautiful and I feel bad because I haven't really mentioned her here on the channel or featured her like that so I wanted to make sure that I did that and then one of my newest newest 
Coolest Loves is the Boying Bright On Concealer. This one is in the shade Melon. I have another one as well. It's lightweight, but you can build it, but it doesn't crease. You guys have to watch the video where I'm trying it so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. Like, it is so lightweight. You feel like you have nothing under your eyes and it definitely brightens the under eye area. It just does its thing. So, totally need to check it out. Um, And also, like, hello. Like, the packaging is super cute. Like, it's an eraser. Like, at the end of the pencil, it's cute. I want to show you guys three liners, one of which you've seen here already. It is the Persona Black Liner. This is so opaque and so soft and just glides beautifully and it lasts a really long time and it is very like smudgy. So if you're looking for a cold or you don't have a cold, this one would work for you. It is, it is really nice. I believe you can still snag that in one of the BoxyCharm events when it reopens because I've seen them the last two times. So hopefully you're able to snag it. I don't know if they have a brown. If they had a brown, I'd love to try their brown. Um, and then I have these two which are relatively new here on my channel. I did film a video like showing you guys like these products in action but this is the hourglass boy your waterproof gel liner in obsidian it is literally what i have on my waterline right now i used it to smudge and smoke out another look recently in another video this stayed on my waterline the entire day it is 204 this makeup has been on my face since i'm gonna say like 9 30 this morning i have not had to touch up the waterline it has not smudged or gotten anywhere like you see it stayed in its place and that's because it's waterproof and the formula is beautiful it's crazy how it's so creamy yet waterproof like I don't know how that works but hourglass did it right with that one I ended up trying the benefit their real extreme precision liner I like their roller liner already my only peeve on that one was it's not like a flat matte finish but this one here the formula is super black and it glows Glides like no one's business, dries fairly quickly, will not move, but the baby has a paintbrush tip. You guys know how I feel about paintbrushes, okay? And paintbrush tips. So the fact that they came out with this, it is, it, 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 it was a matter of time, okay? And I'm really happy about it. And it is literally what I used for my wing today and like my inner corner. Another thing to point out is this will allow you to make the thinnest of thinnest wings but you can also create those thick ones if you wanted to and the brush strokes are so opaque and it does not skid oh my god i'm obsessed with this liner Another new item I tried by Benefit Cosmetics is their Bad Gal Bang Waterproof Mascara. I have the one in the like the matte black packaging. It's just like their Bad Gal Bang Mascara, the regular one. I was never really keen on waterproof mascaras. I got this and I've been playing around with this hours later and my curl is still in place. The only thing about it I am gonna tell you, I, I think I forgot to mention this in the other video, so I'll say it here. It is a mission to remove. You know how I got this off? Because I did an oil-based cleanser, like a balm. I did it all i ended up using oh my god it's not in front of me right now where is it i ended up using my tarte magic micellar water it was the only thing that managed to take it off is that not insane the other merit beauty product i wanted to show you guys is their cheek color in raspberry barrette look how deep this one is oh it goes on my eyeballs this is what is on my cheeks right now you can go pretty heavy or you can go fairly light you know why i love this this is a shade that's gonna work so beautifully for really deep skin tones i remember having a friend over in jersey i still talk to her she would always have a hard time finding a really deep cheek color and she would say look i need something that's like really deep very berry her complexion was actually fairly deep she was like i don't always want to wear red and like pink really like what about people with my skin tone and i was like you're not wrong so the fact that colors like this are becoming available for people I, it just makes me really happy so this is a beautiful beautiful shade again raspberry barrette and mary beauty thank you this is a beautiful color i want to show you bk beauties two lipsticks i have more than two okay but these are the two that i've been using the most they're beautiful beautiful nudes i've showed these before but girl <laughs> this one is in acceptance and this one is in self-love acceptance is going to be at the top and self-love is going to be at the bottom not only is the packaging super classy it does have a magnetized closure which i love it's just it you know for a fact that the baby is close okay and it feels heavy and it feels luxurious but look at these colors 
and they're creamy but they last a long time on the lips they're super comfortable and when they do fade they don't fade in an ugly way they fade so gracefully these shades of pink are gonna work for so many skin complexions which is an even like more beautiful thing the last product i want to show you guys is also a lip product i have two more i'm gonna show you but those are not loves those are like oh my god i don't like them okay it is also an aia beauty bundle product it is the nude sticks lipstick in boho this is their matte magnetic matte lip color i've been using her and then i closed her the wrong way whatever but i've really been using her like i've had to you know sharpen her a few times i had pizza i've had a greasy salad because i put like you know italian like vinegar red on it the lipstick stays when it first goes on it feels really creamy and then give it like a minute it sets and you forget that you have anything on on the flip side though here's here's one thing i wanted to like tell you guys i don't know if it's just me i don't know when i apply it this weird kind of tingling feeling on my lips. I'm gonna say that maybe the first 30 minutes, my lips feel a little on the weird side. I don't know why though. So if you feel the same thing every time you apply one of the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Colors, please let me know. I don't know, maybe I might, like, would it be that I'm having like some sort of like allergic reaction to it? I wouldn't know. But no other lipstick actually does, or like lipstick in a pencil form has ever made my lips kind of tingle the way that it does. It's a little on the odd side. So give me your feedback down below because I don't know. Okay, now let's talk about the Item Beauty Lash Snack Lengthening Mascara is not for me. Like the packaging is nice. It's nice maybe for like your lower lashes if you want to look like you have nothing going on. But there's other mascaras that I own that are even better than this, that are like cheaper than this and their drugstore and this just no. And I feel bad that I opened it and actually tried it knowing that I didn't like it because I could have given it to somebody. Let's just say I like the MAC one better than the Item Beauty one and that says a lot because I can't stand this one. So that tells you something. And the last item I wanna share here with you guys. I'm happy it was only a dollar. This looks like some sort of contraption they would probably use in a pap smear, but it's not, okay. I got this off the uh, Shop Miss A website. It is the AOA line and technically you're supposed to use this for like your lashes when you're applying your mascara. Here's the thing, I feel like this is like a bobby pin thing, but this works so much better. I've had to do like the business card trick, the credit card trick, I've, I've done it all. These type of flat surfaces work so much better if you're going to do something like that in order to apply your mascara. Look, oh, this sucks, okay? This was just weird and the angle is off and I tried it in different way like i tried it different ways i did this you know and that was we it felt weird that's the point it felt weird i i've, I've done it all okay it was a dollar so i don't mind but i want to let you guys know this sucks <laughs> i don't know what else to tell you um yeah i went through that fairly quickly but those were all my beauty favorites for the month what were yours make sure you chime on in down below let me know what you're obsessed with i'm pretty sure we may have one or two things in common but of course i'm nosy as hell and i want to hear everything that you've been in love with just in case i already own it and just haven't really gotten around to play around with it or if i don't own it and i need to snag it I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Please do not forget to hit the thumbs up. It really helps me out, tells YouTube to keep pushing my videos. It's really working out and helping me. So thank you so much. If you're not already subscribed to my channel or if you think you're subscribed to my channel, just double check down below. Click the subscribe button. Make sure you join the Naughty G family here on the YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.